put this one um number two. Okay. Um the Freddie Gibbs. So so simple. I don't know if y'all really dive yes, deep sir. into it. And I'm gonna tell you something too. <clears throat> I was I was at odds about it, man. And I'm gonna tell you why. I've been a Freddie Gibbs fan since Man, babyface gangster. I've been riding with Gears for a long, long time through Pinata, through a lot of projects that he's done. Man, but just lately, I'm going to tell you, I, man, him and Benny, the cattiness yeah. that's going on between them, man, I don't know what's yeah. going on. They need to yeah. chill out. But, man, they make great music together, great. you know, for one. But, you know, I kind of fell off, man, because I'm like, man, listen. Freddie, everybody that you, you do music with, with you can't you, you can't beef with them or it can't be their fault, right? Yeah. And I'm not I'm not saying that, you know, everything is his fault or anything like that, but it's just like, man, it's just so controversial when it comes to him and his stuff outside yeah. of music. Yep. It has nothing to really do with the music. It's just stuff outside of the music. And it's just like, man, come on. So I'm gonna tell you, I was kind of delayed a few weeks on it. But he is my guy when it comes to lyrics yeah. and things like that, man. But I tell you, he definitely didn't disappoint. And the way this one was put together, too, I really liked it. It had a storyline to it that really just, you know, it made you want to listen to each and every track on it. But my favorite track, of course, is um, is Gold. I don't want to I don't want to misquote it. Um, oh. My bad. Gold rings, but CIA. Ooh. I don't want to. I definitely don't want to. That's, CIA. That's, that's my favorite. I, I, CIA. I had to stop myself. I had to stop myself. I don't want to um, overlook nope, CIA. The um, for everybody that's <laughs> listening, the CIA track goes Ooh, crazy. Goes crazy. Um, it's very controversial. Mm -hmm. um, the CIA, in his standpoint, is in Central Intelligence Agency, is, you know, this is what the government gave yeah. us crack, Instagram, that's and good. AIDS. So it, it was, to me, it was, a, it was a dope track, man. But um, but yeah, Gibbs, I, I got to put Gibbs in um, in that top five for this mm -hmm. year. Um, did you have nah, anything you, know, you want to add uh, on that front real quick? You know, I Gibbs is Wallace like, guy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the biggest Gibbs fan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes hey, sometime I, right be, I be kind of getting into him, especially when he kind of like pop in because he did a project, I think, with Currency or something I think he did with this year. And then, um, you know, yeah. I kind of listened to him a little bit like that, but I've never been the biggest Gibbs fan. But I know Wallace always, you know, so he always been rocking with Gibbs. Hey, Gibbs, I feel like Gibbs is so, his range is so, I feel like Gibbs can have, he got tracks to where he can get like in the, in the, in the, um, in the small session, put a suit on, have a band playing, and Gibbs could still, you know what I mean? Because his music is, that's in his, but then he could still get in a big venue. With the eight oh eights, you know, with he got tracks like with Jada, Jada yeah, Kiss. Yeah. You know, his range is so and he has bars. Like he got he got bars, you know. So he, I mean, like 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 me said, he has a lot of outside to where he outside distractions where he be always beefing yeah. or talking crazy. I think that's what overshot right. his work to me, you know, so all the stuff that he be doing yeah. outside of his music. He be with Ack and he going with Benny, Jeezy, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, uh, what his name, uh, Jim Jones, down down in Miami. It's just so much outside the music, yeah, yeah, that kind of be make, that he overshadows. Yeah, Jeezy, that was, he, so much stuff going outside of his yeah. music that overshadows it for me. And then when I listen to him, I be like, yeah. I be kind of trying to get into it, but not always. So, but I know Wallace, you know, what I'm saying that's Wallace be heavy on the Gibbs. I can't, you know, what I'm saying. He behaved man, on Gibbs. Hey, hey, Freddie <laughs> Yeah, man, Gibbs is dope. Hey, and just to throw this out here, too, he also, to me, had one of the best hooks last year, too, on that Benny the Butcher um, album. When he when he featured on that joint, he was like, man, hey, he told a chick, like, hey, you're going to cry in the yeah, back of the Toyota Maybach. on his Maybach. <laughs> hey, he put, he put a lot of things in perspective, man, right? I was, I was so, hoping um, him and Benny but, the Butcher would get to put an album together, man. That would be hard. I feel like that would be, Man, insane. It'll be insane. But I don't think nah, we're going to get yeah, that anytime yeah. soon, right? All right, last but not least, listen. Um, I got to put this in for the fans, okay, right? Okay. So last but not least, Drake hey, in 21. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got I to gotta throw that one in, her loss. You know, um, that was that's an interesting one. Um Man, and, you know, to be honest with you, I really like the collab. I'm not going to even lie to you. The collab was really nice. 
Oh man, um, half of the album was really, really dope, but of course, half of the album is gonna be for the ladies because Drake is gonna do his singing yeah. and all that other jazz, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's certainly cool, but um, man, I um, I did enjoy it overall. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's probably one of the most, the more listened to um, projects that Drake has put out that I personally went and listened to, and actually seeked it out i actually went and i listened to it myself personally it wasn't anything that i heard tracks that were played over the radio or anything like that i actually went and checked it out multiple times yeah. so that you know that speaks volumes for me so of course, yeah i'm a 21 fan anyway. so i had to listen to it and i feel like drake kind of he be finding those artists to kind of so he can rap like he'll get with future you know what I'm saying? He'll put out a, a collab project with Future so he can know he can come rap, rap, rap. You know, because when he do a lot of his albums by himself, he can do a lot of singing because he got a global audience. So he had to, he got to do a lot of a lot of stuff on his albums. But when he get with the rappers like Future or 21, he can actually, you know, rap on the album and not be looked at as like, I got to do a, I got to carry the album with all this singing. And so 21 come in and do his thing and they can kind of play off each other. So the album was a solid album, you know. I definitely gave it some plays on it. It gets some replay, and it got a good replay value on it. Got a good replay because of because of cause yeah. the uh, the beats and everything on the mm-hmm. production on it is real nice on it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't listen to that. I mean, I only listen to the. Cover. I'm not. I'm really not a big uh, this late latest like Drake fan like that because he said all the singing. I was like, come on, Drake. You know, like before, like Drake used to. Everybody used to hate him because he was commercial, right? He was soft, but you know, I didn't care about none of that, but. Like before, Drake used to he get them bars. Yeah, he get them bars. Like, he got yeah, he got like the bars in him, but like, like I said, he, his his audience so global that he can't just rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He got he got it because he competing with artists like Bad Bunny. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably why he put out that that um never that's what was true. it never mind or something like that with like house music or yeah. whatever. So yeah, yeah so the, you know what I'm saying? His, his, album, his music yeah. is global. He got he over in Europe and Australia, so he's not just U.S. anymore. So he got to kind of make that wide, you know, broad, you know. Music, yeah, so yeah. sometimes rap fans that. don't really I, like that because we want to hear him rap, you know. So when he do get in his bag and rap yeah. like with Twenty One, we kind of like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Get, put your bars out there. Yeah, yeah. man, that was right. A, I right. like Twenty One. I like Twenty One. Twenty One is Twenty One. Yeah, right? You know, some people are gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna try to jump out because uh, I mean, nah, Twenty One gonna give you that. Twenty One is like to me is like. Him and Metro. Yeah. If he ain't got nothing with Metro, I don't even want to hear. It. Like I don't even want to hear. It. Like yeah, I don't want to hear. It. If he ain't on there with Metro Boomin, it's like, hey. ah, he with this. I'm like, hey, right. but twenty one bring hey, the best out of him tw- though. Hey, Boomin. but twenty one bring the best out of Drake though. He whenever they on, whenever they work together, yeah. okay. he bring the mm-hmm. best out of Drake because he know he got to bring bars because because twenty one hey. bringing them bars. Hey, and I will say this too. What shocked me is. That twenty one seven yeah. Nas track was nice. Mm. Yeah, that, they they had he had to go and put that together that real. They put that together nice real quick, like would. you know what I'm saying. After the comments, what he made about, I think it was misunderstood mm-hmm. what he was trying to say, and Nas didn't take it in you know ill way. So he was just like, hey, let's just let's get together, let's work, young fella, and let's let's put some music out. You know what I'm yeah. saying. So that was pretty. Nas was not. Nas was like, yeah, let's get together, and work, young know, fella. Did not show you. What I know, right? Yeah, he went, went hard. He went hard. I on. Yeah, he went hard. On. Was he went hard. On. He did go hard on. I show you what's happening. Yeah, let me Hey, that was a. Who's Nas? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. Hey, but that was a super solid list, man. I like that you got Conway, Future, Pusha T, Freddie Gibbs, and Drake. You know what I'm saying? Twenty One album.